This is the third video in the series designed to quickly get you configured for trading through TT at Gateway Capital using eSignal. In this video, we'll cover associating eSignal symbols with TTs, placing trades, and managing orders and positions. We'll start by clicking the Dictionary button. This prompts the Edit Dictionary dialog. Shortly, this will be filled with symbols. To start the process, let's click Add Symbol and begin with the E-mini S&P. In the top field, we'll enter e-signal symbols for the March S&P E-mini. ESH8. By the way, we'll demonstrate shortly how this field can automatically populate with e-signal symbol, saving you time during the setup procedure. To identify TT symbol, click the ellipse button in the second row, which will prompt the Format Symbol dialog. Starting at the top and going left to right, we'll enter the root ES. We'll select Future and click Load. All matching contracts populate the lower half. See the various attributes TT assigns each contract, like routing or exchange, type, currency, and expiration. Since we're in the simulated environment, we'll click on the March 08 trading on the TT SIM exchange. Then click OK. This returns us to the Create New Symbol dialog, and we'll click its Accept button. Now we're back at the Edit Dictionary dialog. On the left is eSignal Symbol, and the right is TTs. To modify these, highlight the contract, and click the first icon on the left. It looks like a sheet of paper with a pencil. If you want to delete this association, single click on the red box with the X in it, and then confirm by clicking Yes. Now, let's place a trade. There's two ways to enter orders from eSignal. The first is double clicking a quote in a quote window, an option chain window, or market depth. Let's take a look at the quote window at the top of our workspace. eSignal's TT interface is designed to operate in a way that best meets the needs of traders. For example, by double clicking the bid, the default is a sell order letting you hit the bid and either close a long position or open a short at the best immediate price. Alternatively, double-clicking the bid can default to a buy order by holding down the control key while you double-click the bid. This means you can either hit the bid or join it with a double-click of your mouse. Also remember the preset order defaults. They let you preset things like order type and quantity, making the process that much more efficient. Speaking of efficient, once you're comfortable with presetting your orders and how you can better manage your orders and positions with eSignal's TT integration at Gateway, you have the option of bypassing the order ticket altogether. We'll demonstrate how after looking at the second way to place trades. Many traders use charts to assist their decision-making process. To assist with order entry from a chart window, you'll want to add the attached order ticket. Do this by selecting a chart window, then clicking Trade and Attached Order Ticket. The main feature we'll review is the Attached Order Ticket's configurable buttons. To set them, simply right-click in the Attached Order Ticket, select Edit Template, and double-click a button. We'll demonstrate by clicking the blue button on the left. You can assign numerous order and position management actions to a button. In this case, we'll leave the section as placing an order. In this case, we'll leave the action as placing an order. Next, we can set the type of order. Buy, sell, short, etc. We'll keep it a buy. Then we can choose the type of order and expiration if necessary. Since this button will remain a limit order, let's decide what its limit price should be. We can either use the bid, Ask, Last, Last Fill, or we can offset any of these amounts. For example, I may want to enter buy orders in the book, so I could use the bid price and offset it by two ticks. Lastly, there's a lot of flexibility regarding quantity. For example, we can fix the amount to say 1, 2, 5, 10 contracts, etc. Or we can opt to have a field in the button where I can enter different quantities based on current conditions, or what contract I'm trading. We'll keep the original settings and demonstrate the functionality by clicking OK and OK again.
Now, let's enter an order. Single click the blue button. The result is exactly the order I preset. It's a limit order to buy one contract of the S&P E-mini at a limit price that equals the ask. The next video will review preset order defaults and additional functionality.